Hi, I'm Denshi, and if you've ever used OBS, then you know it's a screen recording and streaming software that is completely free. You might also know some famous plugins for OBS, and here's one of my favorites, it's called Spectralizer. What it does is you give it an audio source, and it's able to create an audio spectrum from that source. So for example, as you can see now, my microphone is making the audio spectrum move. This can be used in many ways, like for example, one of these music video things where you have an audio spectrum and the cover art and the title of the song and, and, and it looks really good. If you want to set this up yourself, there's a link in the description for the GitHub page to Spectralizer. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, although it does say Ubuntu on the GitHub page, but because it's standardized, it works on pretty much every single Linux distro. The installation process is different for all the OSs. I'm going to be showing you it on Windows and on Manjaro. Okay, so on Windows, you have to go to C, Program Files, and then OBS. Open up the zip you downloaded from GitHub. Open up the plugins folder in that zip and copy over the files to the OBS directory. Then open up OBS and as you can see, Spectralizer is there. On Manjaro, it's pretty much the same thing except you only have to copy over one file and it's in a different directory. Depending on which Linux distro you use, there'll be a folder where OBS stores every single plugin. You can find every single folder that OBS accesses by running this command and then scan through the terminal looking for any parts where OBS goes to a directory with the name plugin or something like that. Then open it up with your file manager of choice and you should find a bunch of .so files. Copy over the spectralizer.so file to there and boom, you've installed it. And as you can see, Spectralizer is in OBS. Okay, so how do you actually use Spectralizer? Well, first of all, add it to your scene. Then in this little drop-down menu, choose a source. It can be either your microphone, your desktop audio, another audio source, maybe a media source because you can like open up a media file. You can also change the color of the bars. You can change how many there are, how much they're distanced, and it is scalable, which means it doesn't matter how big or how small you make it. Since they are squared, they should generally look sharp. So yeah, once you've set up with the audio source that you want, whether it be a file or your microphone or your desktop audio or something like that, you can now stream and record, and you'll have your precious audio spectrum. It's an incredibly useful tool, Spectralizer, and I've used it many times. Greatest thing is that it's completely free. You don't have to pay anything for it and it's licensed under the GPL. I hope you enjoyed this video about this OBS plugin, it's just one of my favorite ones. So thanks for watching this video and have fun with your audio spectrum.